Hope you're well on this day. Um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about a controversial topic. A topic that uh, could make you squirm a bit, but I, I first thought to preface it just so you know my perspective a little bit before you um, think that I'm just a, like a conservative wing nut, <laughs> which is understandable because I kind of am in some sense, but not at the other end of the spectrum. Um, so I've I've been a vegetarian since I was about 12. Um, like, essentially, I'm not a really, really strict vegetarian, but I have been. Um, I have studied permaculture. I've read numerous books on the environment. And I take the environment deadly serious. But, um, and it's a little ironic listening to Radiohead presently, but I, um, I'm quite skeptical um, about the direction in which the environmentalist movement is heading on a massive scale. In particular, the notion of carbon taxing. Um, see that there's, there's a lot of money to be gained by taxing carbon. That's just the reality of things. Now, on one level, that might be just fine, that to tax carbon is to get people aware of the issue of, you know, the so-called global warming. Um, sure, that would be a fine way to go about it, given the circumstances that, indeed, the kinds of happenings are indeed happening. Um, the, the secondary issue is, um, the degree to which we have manipulations within governing and media um, systems. Now this takes a lot of personal research on your own part to some extent to examine and to critically think through how much manipulations indeed are taking place on those um, organizational bodies. So you would have to do some own re your own research to come to where exactly and to the, to the extent of which you think that it, indeed there are manipulations taking place. Um, but I'm going to posit here that there are indeed a fair number of manipulations um, for the purpose of sort of a, um, a cozy relationship between governing systems and uh, corporations, which isn't far from fascism, because really um, one way of looking at fascism is just the blurring of corporation, uh, corporations with, with government, governance, where there is very little distinction between the two, so that one pulls the, pulls the sway of the other and the other pulls the sway of the one, so it's, it's that, that, that tight-knit mutual relationship between the two. Now, the Global Committee of, on Climate Change, um, you know, essentially is a UN body with hev heavy, heavy, heavy um, relationships with governing systems. Um, their science is, is what we are going off of to tell us, indeed, the degree and to the extent of which global warming is taking place. Now, I don't doubt that, that climate is changing as it does constantly. There's a constant shifting of climate. And I'm not saying that global warming isn't happening, necessarily. It might be. Um, and when I first, you know, even took this seriously, it was a, it was a mind F, I tell you what, because I was, I was and still am really uh, against sort of overuse of energy, right? Like I would, I would cringe when I had to get into my car and drive about and I still sort of do because it's a waste of energy. It's a waste of systematic use of a, a reserve that we can, that, that, that we have a limited resource of. And so that is something that ought to be mindfully used indeed. And there's no doubt in my mind that's the case. Um, but in another, another regard, um, there's maybe bigger issues that we ought to be focusing on in some sense. So often it's it's presented as that global climate change is the root of all the systems. So that if you solve global climate change, you, in other words, 
solving all the subsidiary problems of, of environmental issues. Um, one way that I've been looking at it is is the notion of compassion, right? And uh, feeling and, and sort of the feminine energy. And to me, that's that's a big, big move in this whole thing, is that uh, there's an undermining, in general, of sort of the compassion of the, the the sentient beings that are that are partaking in what we're we're dealing with here, and that includes humans, but is not exclusively bound to them. So that means that um, you know we have probably, and I take this one very serious, that we probably entered the uh, the fifth major, maybe fourth major species extinction on the planet, um, and that's that's a big deal. That means that we are a causal consequence of the fourth or fifth major species extinction this planet has ever seen huge indeed to, to, to kind of sit under to feel to be like to be like we are that we are doing that um, but how we're reacting presently is maybe not in the right vein saying that okay we'll put our power hand our power over to these governing bodies to save us from climate change uh, they will carbon tax us and in so doing build the structures and systems that will solve the problems for us I think that's a wrong move again that's just that that same masculine energy if you will that sort of um, that sort of a uh, bottom-down approach that has been the case since really the last few thousand years in lots of regards so if we flip it on its head saying indeed we are the problems in some regards but we are also the solution and by joining together by communing with with other people in a very directed and and, and forward-thinking manner we can solve the problems in a way that uplifts all including the humans and and makes the the um, the species around us uh, live better lives. Sort of a, a bright green solution, where uh, because we are sort of the, the the zoo makers of the planet now, we have to take that as a serious reality that we are kind of bounding off the sort of environmental systems around us. That um, what is the best measure? What is the best practice to make the kinds of zoos, if you will, that we would like to see and that would be most um, compassionate for all beings uh, in, in, in these sort of systems. Uh, so this carbon taxing has such a, 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 a potential to do great, great damage to those that are the poorest by taxing them in ways that they've already been overly taxed, in ways that they just cannot afford. So um, indeed responsibility is something that we have to take into account. And, and that, that we should try to minimize our resources in ways that, that make sense. But, but handing our power over to the government is not, in my opinion, the way to, to, to go here. And that's just another way of, of furthering our problems, potentially, and, and could lead to the, the worst consequences we can imagine. That is sort of a, a global calling. If, 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 if that is something that you can even hold in your mind. So, anyways, um, I hope this stimulated some of your thoughts. Read something like State of Fear by Michael Crichton. It'll be hard to read if you're a strong environmentalist, almost necessarily, and it was for me, but I think it gives you another way to look at the realities that we're facing into presently. Um, deepest blessings, y'all, to keep our ha habitats strong, keep it diverse, keep your mind um, directed and analyzed and, and blessings uh, a thousand times.